What's going on everyone? My name is Ovi and welcome to a new FIFA 21 tutorial on the channel. Today I'm going to present you one of the most effective ways to attack in FIFA 21. And before getting started make sure to drop a like at the video if you love the tutorial series. If you want to see a second tutorial today I've got something that I promise you will absolutely change your game it has changed mine and it will change yours in the moment when we hit 1500 likes boom second tutorial will go live on the channel attacking in fifa 21 has evolved a lot comparing with fifa 20 there are a lot of new options that you can use and uh, options that will help you improve your winning ratio first of all we are going to start with a move that has made a comeback from FIFA 19. It was so, so overpowered before and it is great to use now. I'm talking about the Driven Pass. What is a Driven Pass? It is a super fast, low pass towards your teammate. And you can perform it by pressing and holding R1 on your PlayStation controller or RB on your Xbox One controller and pressing also the Pass button. Why is this? such an important feature that you need to use in your attacking moves in FIFA 21. Boys, it does not leave time for the defender to realize what's going on. You will do from a normal possession game, you will rush the tempo. The tempo will go up, you will play a lot faster and you will surprise him. Another important thing is the fact that if you master the driven pass and you can master it only by practicing a lot you will see that the first touch of your striker is the perfect layout for a shot and that's again very important because in fifa 21 the defenders block a lot of shots you get in a penalty box and it's easy for them to block the shots but from a driven pass your striker will do a perfect first touch and then a perfect shot very important feature that you need to use in your attack skill move importance another thing that you need to consider in fifa 21 skills are so overpowered this year and when bu when building an attack when isolating your striker you need to have in mind a few skill moves um, a top two at this moment for me would be the step overs and you can see on the uh, controller how I perform the step overs here what does this trick do well uh, your player advances fast on the pitch uh, by doing uh, the step overs and in the same time um, a bit controls pushes the uh, the defender away after that you are in the perfect position to do a direct shot very 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 important another great one especially um, in positional attacks. It's the standing fake shot with croqueta and in order to perform it you'll have to do a standing fake shot which is a fake cross or a fake shot without pressing the without moving the left uh, analog and afterwards do a croqueta. To do a croqueta press and hold L1 on your PlayStation controller or LB on your Xbox One and move the right analog and keep it pressed to the left or to the right of your player depending where you want the croqueta to uh, do the exit afterwards you will be able to do a direct shot and score a goal two very very important things uh, that in my opinion will help you a lot in front of the penalty box next on our list we've got a classic but a classic that is more important than ever in FIFA 21 the wink play and cut inside feature um, all pros have been using this type of play from the beginning of FIFA maybe. Why? Because um, versus a good player it is sometimes extremely difficult to open him up in the center of the pitch. He's got the defenders there, he knows how to, how to defend and you will need to open him up on the wing. Uh, this is what will be great in FIFA uh, 21, the fact that you will be able to open up players on the wing this is why i advise wide formation like 442 uh, 433 4231 wide maybe even 352 the whole thing with the wing play uh, in fifa 21 boys it is similar with fifa 20 and other fifas but skill moves are a bit better now uh, for example 
you just if you see the space go run on the wing and make sure also boys uh, to have at your build up play in custom tactics at least five six over there at players coming into the box this way your central midfielders will also help you when you get um, in, the, in a nice advanced position just cut inside using a skill move um, a body feint uh, a drag back agile dribbling cut back do consecutive passes see the isolated player inside the penalty box play to him and score a goal the thing here is again you will be able to destabilize the opponent's defense by doing this type uh, of play uh, another personal favorite of mine is the pass or the cross in front of the goal uh, in this example right here i am on the wing inside the penalty box i do a body feint to fool the defender and afterwards a simple pass not a true ball a simple pass to my teammate he wins the one-on-one -on -one duel he scores the goal and proves that uh, the body feint and this pass in front of the goal are one of the most effective ways of scoring goals in FIFA 21. And now for a feature that I learned while playing football. I did play a bit of football in my early days, professional football, unfortunately I got injured, but that's another story. The one, two for the third man. It applies in any FIFAs and it is also great, great now. It is generally a counter attack move. And you will use it when you see that your teammate, your striker is being closed down or the angle isn't good enough to pass him the ball or the striker is not yet in the right position to receive a pass. What will you do? You will use an intermediary pass to a teammate, give time to your striker to get in the right position and play a direct through ball to the striker that is now in a great position. This is a fantastic move for a co for counter attacks boys. It works very very well and it's also very good against pressure opponents. Uh, because against pressure opponents you won't have a lot of angles to play through ball through balls. That's why intermediary passes and then direct through balls are the key in in order to open them up, score goals on counter attack and eventually win the game. Number 4, we've got the double tap pass. Added in FIFA 20, some say it's not that good anymore in FIFA 21, well I say it is. I've been scoring a lot of goals in Division 1 rivals using this trick. Super super easy to do. All you have to perform is double tap the normal pass button or the normal through ball on your controller. What does this exactly do? It chips a bit the pass so it's harder for the defender to intercept it so you get the pass to you get the chance to squeeze the ball into your striker uh, through tighter angles plus very 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 important here uh, after you do this type of pass for the for the striker it is easier for him to stop the ball and shoot or it is easier for him to do a first touch shot very important thing here to consider to realize and to use in your game the double tap pass it's mwah in fifa 21 last but not least maybe the most important feature in fifa 21 to build your attacks creative runs and uh, if you're new to the channel if you're new to fifa 21 uh, creative runs it is it's indeed a new feature in the game and you can perform it by pressing in the same time on the left analog or on the right analog this way you will be able to control your player after doing a pass but we don't want exactly to do that we want to control the teammates so we're gonna press in the same time on the left and right analog and flick one more time the right analog or more times by using the um, flicking of the right analog you can browse through your players through your teammates on the pitch so that's exactly what we're gonna do now we're we're pressing in the same time the left and right analog then flicking the right analog and uh, to control our other teammate and we alter his run we change the direction of his run, we see exactly where the empty space is and we trigger the pass by performing a simple pass. The advantage with creative runs boys, um, you will be able as seen in this example 
to perfectly see where to move your player and move him in that direction. Um, your teammate, even though AI runs are better this year, sometimes will go into dead angles. You will be able to control them with creative runs, put them, set them on the right path and eventually score a goal. So fellas, these were my top 5 tips and tricks for attacking in FIFA 21. Make sure to leave a like at the video. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Ovi and I'll see you fellas in the next video. Bye bye.